hello my loves and welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be coming to you guys with a comparison as you can see from the title I will be comparing the beauty blender solid cleanser with Kirk's Castile soap and I am absolutely astounded by the results that I received from both products pretty much but I will just give you a rundown on how much I spent now I have the beauty blender and I purchased this together this alone is about $15. It comes with, let's see, it comes with one ounce of product. Now when you open it up, it's just a basic little round of soap and it pops out. I don't know if it's gonna pop out because I just used it. And it has a little grate on the side, which I actually used to clean my sponges and I feel like it helped a lot more with getting the stain out. Um, it has a very like ivory soap scent. If anything, it smells almost exactly like ivory soap. So if you have ivory soap, I recommend you give it a try. Obviously the price on this is a little bothersome to me because it's soap and I could spend that $15 on a lipstick or something. <laughs> I really did like cleaning with this. I utilized the little grate in the back, just something told me to use it and kind of um, use it to help clean the sponge out a little better and I think that that helped the most with getting the staining out. It took me pretty much a whole five and a half minutes to clean my sponge. I actually cleaned my Real Technique sponge with the Beauty Blender Solid. I wanted to kind of, you know, not be biased and just use this with the Beauty Blender. A lot of people don't have um, that sponge. They have different sponges so I decided to use my Real Techniques perfecting whatever sponge which I love and I think it did help with getting out the stains it took me a little bit over five minutes to clean it which I don't mind it does have a nice fresh clean scent of course there's still some staining to it but it got if not I think it got all the staining out of the tip that I use for concealer and most of the staining except for like on the very tip of this now I use Kirk's Castile soap uh, this comes in a three pack I found this at Walmart and I ended up purchasing a little uh, bar soap holder for like 99 cents at Walmart and this was three dollars and 48 cents three dollars and 48 cents for three bars of soap each bar is four ounces so I did some calculating okay this product is one whole ounce for fifteen dollars all right this product is pretty much 12 ounces of product each bar is four ounces but if you're buying it you're buying it all together so for three dollars and 48 cents you're getting 12 ounces that's 29 cents for the size of this if you really look at it so holy crap that's a big difference to me now I am not being biased. I really, really, really wanted this for the longest. I was like, I want to get it once I get my beauty blender. I want to get the cleanser that looks so cool. Blah, 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 right? Look at the massive size to that compared to this. And I got so much cleaning out of it. Now, I used my beauty blender a lot more than I used my real techniques. Like, I still kept using it up until like yesterday. And the staining on this was pretty bad. It's pink, so, you know, you don't see the staining as much. And there's still staining right here on the bottom a little bit. But on the tip, it's gone. I do still have some eyeliner stains and pen stains, and so does on this one. This I, was clean within three minutes. This was clean within five and a half minutes. So it took me almost double the time to clean this sponge. They're about the same size. They're just shaped differently. And it's the same concept. And... I don't know like I found the perfect dupe to the beauty blender solid and I have no shame in my game now I am amazed by how well the Kirk's Castile soap worked um, I was gonna get the Dr. Bronner's one but I was not gonna spend five dollars for one bar of soap I found that ridiculous when Castile soap is Castile soap now I don't know this is amazing. I have no regrets in buying it and I'm so glad that I got to do this video. This was my first time cleaning my beauty blender so the staining and all that stuff was sitting there for a while. So I really got to see the cleaning power of both of these products which I think is the same exact thing. Okay, I'm going to be inserting a demo of how I clean the sponges. So if you want to see how they worked, just keep on watching. 
So today I'm going to be demonstrating how I clean my sponges. This is my first time cleaning my Beauty Blender and my Beauty Perfection sponge by The Real Techniques. Now I have the Beauty Blender Solid here and here I have Kirk's Natural Soap. So I'm going to be cleaning the Beauty Blender with Kirk's Natural Soap to see how it works. And with the Beauty Blender Solid, I'm going to be cleaning my Real Techniques sponge. I'm going to use lukewarm water. I'm going to start off with the Beauty Blender Solid. And that's what it looks like here. I'm going to wet my sponge. I'm gonna take this out of its case. I just... Put my sponge on it. Now I'm taking a good amount of soap and just kind of massaging the sponge in. You can see how dirty that water is. I'm going to rinse it and then I'm going to use it again. There's still some staining on the side here and on the tip, which I kind of expect. I'm going to use the bottom grate part to clean the sponge a little bit better. As you can see there, it's taken off so much, some more product. Just rinse it out. Look at that. And the water's still coming out pretty mucky. I'm gonna keep trying again. I just scratched it. Just gonna try again some more on the tip. Where it's stained. What I use the most on the sponge. And I'm gonna turn it over and use the back. I haven't seen any videos that use the great piece in the back. I was just looking at the sponge when I was comparing the soaps and I popped it out and I saw the little grate and I go, you could probably use that to scrape some brushes with it. So I decided to give it a go and it seems like it worked beautifully. Yep, the final look. There is some slight staining, but it is not as bad as it was. There's still some eyeliner stain from when I first got it. But it looks clean, it feels way cleaner, and the water's running clear. I'm going to be using Kirk's All Natural Soap, and this I got at Walmart. And I also got this little case to hold it in, which has a little bit of grate right there, so I can probably utilize that to clean the sponge. I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender. Wow. Swirl it around the product. Swirl, swirl. Now I have used these sponges the same amount of time. Probably the Beauty Blender more, I feel. And I have uh, eyeliner stains on both of them. I'm just gonna put the soap down and just rinse this to see how it looks. Some of the color is actually coming out of it. Some of the pink. But this is my first time washing it, so that's what I get. Now I notice a slight bit of staining on the bottom, but for the first run, I literally have been using this a lot more than I have my Real Techniques, and there's just a slight staining there on the bottom, so I'm gonna wash it again. So I'm gonna go for a second round, just to get the staining. And I'm gonna use the great piece on the little case I got from Walmart just for haha's. Ha now here's the Beauty Blender. I don't see much staining, if any, just a little bit around this section where I got some eyeliner in. The tip is completely clean. It's back to its original color. The water's running clear and I am impressed. So this was cleaned with Kirk's Natural Soap and this was cleaned with the Beauty Blender Solid. 
Okay guys, so that is it. That is how well both of these products work. Again, you already see my opinion on it and how well it works. Honestly, bigger bang for your buck. 29 cents to the one ounce versus $16. So anyway, I hope you liked this video. Please thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and if there's any requests that you may have, just leave a comment down below and I will do my best to fulfill that. So I thank you guys so much. See you guys in my next video. Bye.